Hi, welcome back to NK in SoCal. I'm your host, Nathan Kays. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I have the lovely Lauren and Victoria with me here at the Disneyland Resort. We're going to have some of the St. Patrick's Day treats, and we're going to have a blast. So why don't you come along with us? We popped into the Grand Californian hotel lobby and at the cart in there, the Craftsman cart, they have these fabulous St. Patrick's Day items. We have a double chocolate cookie shot right here and we got the green milk in that, the green mint milk. And then over here is the cookie shot with the chocolate milk poured in it. You could have uh, chocolate milk or white milk or the mint milk. You could even have an adult liqueur in there if you so desire. And these look just, these look amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and try these. First up is the mint flavored milk in the double chocolate cup. very minty it's really good so it's an edible cup and they just poured the milk right in it here Victoria you could try I'm gonna try the cookie shot now with the chocolate milk in it Very interesting concept. It's fun. Here, you try the cookie one now. Lauren, why don't you come over and try? You gotta take a sip of the milk first and then a little bite of the cup. It tastes like milk chocolate chip ice cream. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so what scores would you guys give those cookie cups? I would give this a four and a half out of five. The I'll double chocolate it. one? Actually, no, five out of five was amazing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'd give this a four out of five. Did you guys like either one of them more than you like the other? I like this one better. The double chocolate uh, with the mint? I don't know. They're both pretty good. Okay, so you, you would rate them equally? Um, that one like a half more. A half more. Okay, yeah, I like the I like the mint milk. It was really good. Uh, as a reminder, these are St. Patrick's Day specialty items, and if you want them, you have to. They're only providing them uh, available through the weekend. So if you want to try them out, you got to get here. I got this T-shirt last year for St. Patrick's Day. Thought that I would wear it today to film it's uh it's it's one of my favorites so there we go world's tallest leprechaun on saint patrick's day we are hopping over to the disneyland side kids are all jacked up on sugar after those after those cookie shots so they're on a sugar high right now so time to, Victoria says she wants to stay till the park closes. That's yeah. how much sugar she has in her body right now. I have a basketball right game tomorrow. I don't want to stay. Lauren doesn't want it. We're, they're not seeing eye to eye on how late it is. Well, it's only 7 o'clock right now. 7.15. So let's just see how we feel. All right. Let's go on some rides. <laughs> Disneyland train in the background. Seems like there's a lot of people leaving right now. It's like 7.15. PM-ish. A lot of people walking out. Got these two nut jobs in the back here goofing around. We're angels. Angels. We're angels. St. Patrick's Day angels. Wait, let's try it. Do the angels. Alright, what rides what rides do you guys want to hit up? Uh Matterhorn. Matterhorn? Matterhorn. Okay, we'll go check out Matterhorn. Paper towel and then I lost all the paper towel and then that's just like four. You are so full of sugar right now. Yes, 
The lights are on now on Main Street. I have to put my sweater on here soon and cover up my world's tallest leprechaun shirt. It's getting a little chilly outside. Nice wide angle view there of the castle and the Matterhorn. Back realignment, yeah. yeah. Oh, that one blind drop is just crazy. Oh, always a fun time, Matterhorn. Thank you, Matterhorn. Just got off Matterhorn. Always a fun time, especially in the dark. Yeah. Victoria's favorite ride in the park. It was a little chilly, so I switched into the Blue Jays shortstop hoodie. Go Blue Jays. Lauren's rocking some Blue Jays gear. Still got my leprechaun, leprechaun shirt on right there. I'm supporting Baby Yoda. Though. Victoria is supporting Baby Yoda. Stronger than you think. <laughs> All right, where do you guys want to go next? Um, I'll check the app. Yeah. See what happens. Yeah. Okay. okay, I hate this ride, but somehow I decided to go on it, so it's going to be bad. I get really dizzy. Okay, I'm kind of regretting this already. He's getting thrown up. But I'm doing it. I'm doing it for the kids. Yeah. Just got off teacups and I survived it. Uh, I had my eyes closed for like 75% of the ride. So, but it was fun. It was fun. These ones are adjusted. We are in the gift shop here by Mr. Toads, checking out the bucket hats. Please? How much is it? Uh, no. How much is it? It's $40. $40? Do they have the different sizes or is it one size fits all? This one, this one is, wait, this one is like special. This one's 19. Yeah, this one's 20. Uh, this one's 15. Oh. This one's 40. But this is the coolest one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Isn't this the one you guys wanted to begin with? What do you think mom would say? She'd be like, Dad bought you that? <laughs> Victoria, what do you think mom would say? No. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, that's nice. Maybe we'll, like, here, let's take, put, put on the one that you like the best and we'll take a picture and send it to mom and see what she says. We did a mobile order at Jolly Holiday, so we're gonna head over there. We're gonna get the Jolly Holiday salad, and the kids got some grilled cheese. We're headed there right now. Take a little break, get off our feet, recover from the teacups. Got the Jolly Holiday salad here at the Jolly Holiday Cafe. Looks good. Just wish it did have chicken on it, or the option to add chicken or salmon. That would be great if we could add some protein to this. Lauren went ahead and got the grilled cheese with the tomato bisque and the fruit cup. Victoria got the giant grilled cheese sandwich and fruit cup. Looks like no shortage of cheese over there. Try it out. Victoria has never met a grilled cheese sandwich that she didn't like. And if, and if she didn't, it would be horrible. And if she didn't <laughs> like the grilled cheese sandwich, it would be like like the most the worst thing in the world. <laughs> I like grilled cheese sandwiches. Yeah. We came over to Space Mountain. We 
saw it was a 20 minute wait, but then it went all the way up to an hour. So it went really fast for the first couple minutes and now it's slowing down. Now it's feeling like an hour. Yeah, and then it took us long to get here because the fireworks are on right now and all the traffic, they're circling the traffic all the way to Main Street and back. And so we, we just crossed instead. But it still took us a long time because of all the traffic. It felt like we were walking, and we felt like we were walking like half steps and slowly the whole time. Last ride of the night, we're gonna take a spin on Space Mountain. It was a pretty long wait for Space Mountain. We waited over an hour. The, the, <laughs> what happened was, we were eating over at Jolly Holiday and we, look, we were looking at the app and it said 20 minutes for Space Mountain. So we're like, we were like, okay, let's hustle over there. And then by the time we got over here, it was at 45 minutes. And then the ride had a temporary closure but we were so fully invested that we're like, ah, we're just gonna stay. So it will have been over an hour, but it's the last ride of the night. We could have bailed and been all grumpy about it, but we just decided to just hang in there. Kids were watching stuff on my phone and uh, we'll have a good ride, last ride of the night and then we'll call it a night. All right, we were just about to get on Space Mountain and all the lights came on. They've stopped the ride. Obviously having some problems with this thing tonight. This is the second time since we've been in this line that the ride broke down. They made everybody get off the trains. People still, people still stuck back there on it. But we are literally coming up on next. So I guess we're just gonna hang out, see how long this takes. Space Mountain, we were, we were literally about to get on the ride and then it officially shut down for the night. So it's like 11 p.m. and they gave us two lightning lanes. So we're back at Matterhorn. Well, that wait in Space Mountain to uh, be kicked out of the building as the ride was shut down for the night was, was tough to digest at the time, but they gave us a couple of lightning lane passes to use, which we utilized on back-to-back -back trips on Matterhorn to end the night. My favorite. Victoria's favorite. So we, we did Matterhorn, what, three times today, guys? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> it was a, bless you, Lauren. It was a fun St. Patrick's Day outing here. We enjoyed the treats at the beginning and the rides at the end. If you guys like this video, please make sure you press that like button and to subscribe and subscribe to the channel. Or else. You've been warned. You've been warned. All right, and check me out on Instagram at NK, at NK in SoCal. I'll be posting pictures there from today, so make sure to check that out, and we'll see you next time.